Finder is the tool that we have, uh, the platform that we have in within Saver and also Saver Central. So we'll start on how you can access Finder. And let's go ahead and open Saver Central again. And let's close this. And you have different options to go to Finder. The first one will be from the home page under quick links. You can just click on go to Finder or again access the support tab and then click on Finder. Okay. You also may access Finder directly from Saver Red 360. So if you are working in Saver, go ahead and open Saver here and you receive this error or you forgot a format or you need more information regarding a procedure, all you have to do is go to the right side and under helper app, click on Finder and a tab would open like this for you to access Finder within Saver Red 360. The same layout that you have in Saver Central is also the layout that you access here in Saver Central. So it's totally up to you how you prefer to access the tool. So let me go ahead and let's continue with Saver Central. So I'm Finder from Saver Central and here we are. Okay, so from Finder, you have different options to search for what you need. You can use the search tab where you can go ahead and type comments or system responses, as well as keywords to identify what you're looking for. We recommend you to be as specific as possible. That way the results that you get from Finder are what you're looking for. And you also have the option to use the index. The index is organized. Here we have all the content available in Finder organized in different topics. So for example, let's say you're looking for Saver profiles information. So you can click on the error to expand and see the subtopics that we have and select on the one that you prefer. Here, as well as in the search tab. So here in the search tab, I can type EMD and hit enter. You will see that all the content available is now organized in different tabs. Okay, so let's go over those tabs. We have top results. We will show all the results that match the information that you enter. We also have the command tab. This will display the command references with a brief description and an example of the command of the format. You also have the error tab to get reference for system errors and possible costs and solutions. We'll see an example of this one as well. And you will also sometimes find information on how do I, and this is uh, particularly for those formats that have different steps and procedures, such as uh, issuing an EMD, creating an EPR, it will provide you an article in Finder with the step-by-step -step on how to follow and complete your task. And the last one is airline specific. And the examples that we show here is, for example, EMDA and EMDS. As you are aware, if you're trying to create an EMDS, the airlines, they have specific codes per type of EMD. So you can find that information by clicking on airline specific and go directly to the airline that you are working with. Okay, so now let's go back to Saver, to Finder, sorry. And let me go ahead and show you here because we mentioned that under errors, okay, you can find different articles like this one. Okay, so I had already searched here for need name number. So this is how the er error articles will look like. You have the cause. Why is this error happening? So in this case, it says this response occurs when you're trying to issue a ticket using WFR and the entry on the PNR contains more than one passenger name. And Finder will also provide you with the solution. It tells you to re-enter the command and specify the name number. So maybe just by reading this, you no longer have to create a case and contact the help desk, okay? Or have a guidance to what you're doing and get a solution from Finder directly.
Now, also from Finder here, you can see that there are topics that are going to be selected and categorized by market. We have ARC for the agencies in the US. We also have BSP and BSP Canada. If you get any, um, if you're searching for any information that is any format or procedure that is particularly for one market specific, for example, I have searched for how to issue an MCO. This is for ARC customers only. So when you access the article, you'll be able to find the wording at the beginning that says for ARC customers only, or in case it's BSP, you will be able to find it for BSP customers only. Okay, so it's very important that this is also read. Something else that I want to mention here is that if you find this article, right? You find something in Finder that you said, okay, so this is something that I'm going to be using quite often, okay? I issue MCOs quite often, so this is a very good article. I'm gonna be coming back to this article again. You can go ahead and select the star that we have here. So you can go ahead and save this as your favorite. Now, how do you find your favorites in Finder? You will come here, you will open Finder, and then click where it says Favorites. Click here to view the list of all the articles you have saved as your favorite. Okay, this will easy up your search and save you time. So, because you already, you know, save the article, so you would just come here and your search result is gonna be shorter. And you can just go ahead and click, for example, how to issue an MCO and find it without having to type anything here. 